Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new, welcome. My name is Katlero. If you're a returning subscriber, welcome back to another video. I love this setup. Oh my gosh, it looks so nice. I just had to freak out. Also, I'm trying out this mic. As you can see, I want to know, please let me know if the audio is better with the mic or with just the mic I have on my camera. I want to see the difference. Also, I have a plant. Okay. I wanted to show you guys Momo because she is huge. Like, she is so huge and she has another leaf coming in here. I am so happy. I have a happy plant mom and I'm thinking of getting her a sister at some point but I need to replant because this pot is now small she's outgrowing it I need to replant her in another big pot but anyway that is not the point of this video I've missed you guys so much I hope you watched my last vlog because I it went live on the week when I was in the field so I was at a field trip in Pumalanga last week. So I did not film anything. I am filming Monday. You are seeing this video on Tuesday. So this is me trying this whole consistency thing. Anyway, the point of this video is basically a in case, an in case you missed it type of video. So what is happening is I am looking at my phone. Please excuse me, but I'm looking at my phone because... I want to tell you guys about the Khrun Sebenza Phase 2 program. Basically, in case you've missed it, I've been posting a bunch of internship opportunities on my community tab. Please keep an eye out on my community tab if you, did not, if you did not know, because that's where I post a bunch of stuff that I see. If I see a bursary opportunity, I post it there. So yeah so i'm just making a video because I'm like i've seen that not a lot of people have seen it so might as well anyway the hrun serenza phase two program um i'm just gonna read here what we have on the sanbi website environmental biodiversity organizations are hiring a thousand and fifty graduates the hrun serenza phase two program is a bridging into work program funded to the value of 300 million for the next three years. Khrun Sevens Up Phase 2 aims to recruit 1,050 unemployed graduates from diploma to PhD level and place them nationally in different organizations, that is government and non-governmental, where they will be incubated, that is trained and men mentored to further develop their competence and confidence in the management of environment or biodiversity. Basically, 150, 1050 internship opportunities have opened in organizations, whether government or non-governmental, all across the country. And they want you guys. They want us. I am bringing good news internships i know a couple of weeks ago there was a comment in one of my videos where somebody said we literally picked the worst qualification to do and i asked that person what they said that they did not reply if you are saying if, you, if this is you and you're saying this because there are no jobs okay Basically, the program's goals are to enable workplace learning for graduates aimed at building and strengthening their capacity at various levels, creation of job opportunities and possible permanent placement beyond funding, and, and, and. Um, I am not going to go through this whole thing because it's way too long. I will put the link in the description or you can go to my community tab and look at the posts as they go. What is happening is this particular post is on the Sanbi website, but because this involves various government and non-governmental organizations, each company is posting the available positions on their own websites. So you can look at this list on Sanbi. I don't know if you guys will see it because it's too bright. Let's see. You can basically go through this list and see they have the provinces, they have the companies, they have the website, and then they have basically the qualifications 
and 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 um well the programs that you can apply to and then you can go to the websites and check out the websites for each company so it's divided in province in companies and then they have their websites and then they have the program like in conservation or environmental management so on and so forth i basically wanted to tell you guys about this one that is the first link in the description the next thing that i posted on my community tab was let me quickly go to youtube so green matter is one of the companies that is listed on that sandby website and they released a post for what they're advertising for their specific company it is still part of the khun sevenza program so they posted on twitter this is one of the posts on my community tab internship opportunity at green matter three positions are available the closing date is the 21st of october which is this month two weeks from now and they talk a little bit about the Khurun Sevenza Phase 2 program. And then they're saying Green Matter Partnership in um, the Green Matter Partnership in partnership with the South African National Biodiversity Institute is pleased to announce a call for applications for incubation in the following fields. Field environmental management. The second one is environmental education. So you will be based in Midran, Gauteng. Currently, they say it's virtual office to be re-established. They want somebody with a BA honors or BSc honors or BA honors in environmental management or natural sciences. And then for the environmental education one, they want somebody with a BSc honors or BA honors in environmental education. And then you can see the details with the guys of stipend and how to apply and everything. The third thing I wanted to talk to you about, it's also a post from my community tab that I actually posted today. This one is from BirdLife South Africa. So still part of the same program, BirdLife South Africa is also advertising. Let me check. I'm just doing a lot. I'm sorry if this video is everywhere, but I'm just so excited to share the news with you guys. Okay, let's open the BirdLife South Africa one. So this is the BirdLife South Africa post. Can you please focus? Thank you. Okay, so um, still, Kroon Servants are phase two. They're calling for two year internships in the field of tourism and education environmental monetary and conservation management as well as conservation biology so they have the required qualifications there the stipend is there as well they show you how much you would earn if you had a diploma so by the way this one is not limited to a bachelor's degree if you have a diploma in the qualifications you can apply how much you they show you how much you'll earn with a diploma a bsc and honors and msc and a phd as well as what is needed to apply the third one that i posted which was today the third the fourth one sorry is a post by c4 eco solutions which is an internship for the year 2023 this one is actually not part of the hurun Sevenza program it's just one that i found shared on my university email so i'm just gonna read it out for you guys over the past six years c4 eco solutions has offered an internship program designed to kick start careers in climate change development and train individuals to join our dynamic team of consultants in 2023 we will once again bring together a diverse group of graduates and early career professionals for a training course focusing on the design and implementation of innovative climate change development projects that benefits the world's most vulnerable communities. The 2023 internship program will be a six months in duration. It will consist of an intensive training course for three to four weeks, followed by an experiential training component for the remainder of the internship. The program will begin in February 2023 so this one also has the criteria what exactly you will learn in this program um 
the remuneration, the application process, everything that you need to know. So please, please, guys, do not say people are gatekeeping or there are no opportunities. I'm here. I am sharing with you guys, as I've always been saying. Wait, 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 wait. wait. There's um, I saw a bursary opportunity day. Five seconds. Okay, I am back. I saw a bursary today on LinkedIn and I actually tabbed it so I don't forget when I tell you guys when I record this video. So thankfully I remembered. Okay, environmental sciences bursary by WSP in Africa. Um, okay, let's see, let's see, let's see. Do they have any information? So WSP in Africa offers bursaries for engineering and environmental students at recognized universities in South Africa. We support our bursary candidates through vacation work and employment opportunities after studies where possible, giving them the opportunity not only to make a mark in the world, but to build a legacy. WPS is one of the most diverse consulting firms in South Africa, blase, blase, blase. I'm not going to read through everything. I'm going to put the link in the description. So if you are passionate and dedicated and a dedicated environmental sciences student who has completed their Bachelor of Science Honours. So basically this is for somebody who has done their BSc and has done their honours and is looking to go into their MSc. So if you have a you have a BSc, obviously you have an honors, then please apply. If you're thinking of doing your MSc next year, this is for you. Um, and is looking to enroll for their masters, meeting the following further requirements, please send us your application. And then they have um, the required I don't know what do they call it? I forgot the name. <laughs> they have everything that's required, such as how how like your marks, your average, what it's supposed to be. Obviously, you need to be enrolling for your MSc next year. Um, you cannot use another bursary while they have. Um, let me see if there's anything. All South African citizens are welcome to apply. Thesis topics should include the following. They tell you what you, your research should, like what they prefer your research to be in. And then preferences for master's studies by thesis or dissertation. Let me tell you one thing. With um, postgraduate qualifications, like <sighs> funders prefer to pay for people who are only doing research. Who are only doing their MSc by dissertation. It's not easy to find funding if you're doing by coursework, but then again, whether you do your MSc by research or your MSc by coursework depends on what exactly you're planning to do with your life. So that's just that. And then, yeah, all the information are on this LinkedIn post. I will make sure to put the link to this. Can you see it? I will put the link to this in the description as well. So that is that for my video. Again, I will put all the links with regards to the, the post that I read, the BirdLife South Africa one, the Green Matter one, and the C4 Eco Solutions. Please check out my community post. If you don't, you don't know how to find my community post, comment in the comment section below and I will somehow find a way to send you the PDF documents of the application posts and everything. I hope you enjoyed the video, guys. Please apply again. And remember, I offer services like to proofread your CV, to edit your motivational letter. You can send me an email if you need those services and I can help you. I hope this video helps somebody. Apply, share with whoever you think this might help. Apply. <laughs> I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.